Alright everybody, welcome back to another edition here of Friday Night Smackdown. How are y'all doing? My name is Dominic, of course, behind the commentary table, and we are live and sold out in Sacramento, California, yay, for what is set to be one hell of an episode of Friday Night Smackdown. I know that I say that every single week, however, this time, I definitely mean it. Okay, we've got... Bailey, this woman right here, taking on Ronda Rousey, the SmackDown Women's Champion, to kick off the show. We got the WWE Champion, Daniel Bryan, in action later on in the evening. We got an Intercontinental Championship matchup later on in the evening for our main event between two of the best professional wrestlers on the planet today, in my personal opinion. So yes, I think this is going to be one hell of an episode of Friday Night Smackdown. As I just mentioned, we're kicking it off with some women's action as Ronda Rousey, the Smackdown Women's Champion, is taking on this woman right here, Bailey. And now I'll admit, Bailey has been in a bit of a slump over the past few months in her career. Okay, she's not really seen as a prominent figure here on Smackdown. She's barely on the show. She's usually fighting on the house show circuit. And then whenever she's on the show, like last week, she lost. She, she loses. Okay, she lost to Lacey Evans last week. And Bailey here tonight, she needs this victory. Because imagine what this win could do for her career. Not only is it a victory over the SmackDown Women's Champion. And no matter who holds that belt, a victory over the woman who holds the SmackDown Women's title is nothing to scoff at. But then imagine beating that woman. The woman who is holding that SmackDown Women's title, Ronda Rousey, the SmackDown Women's Champion, okay, this dominating figure here in the SmackDown Women's division. The woman who beat Charlotte at no mercy in one of the best matches on the show, and that's really saying something. There was a lot of great matches on that no mercy card, but Ronda Rousey beat Charlotte to retain her title in a submission matchup a match that some might say stole the show as right now Bailey needs to be thinking about how she can steal a victory from Ronda Rousey here tonight as you saw Ronda Rousey with those hard shots those quick jabs and oh my god what a forearm strike right to the jaw of Bailey however Bailey oh wait a second immediately into a roll of victory perhaps one no only a one count there by Bailey here ladies and gentlemen Okay, Bailey coming out here tonight. Oh, she needs this victory. Okay, she needs a win. Okay, like I mentioned, she's been in a slump, and right now she's on the outside, and she's thinking, how can she possibly defeat Ronda Rousey, this dominating and seemingly undefeatable figure here on SmackDown? However, Bailey, she also knows that she has some history with Ronda Rousey. Of course, both women have battled over the SmackDown women's title. Okay, before WrestleMania, Ronda Rousey and Bayley, they were battling it out, wanting to hold the white strap. So Bayley, she has that history. She can think about how to, oh, outsmart and perhaps outmaneuver Ronda Rousey. Okay, she knows what she does in this ring. She knows what she can do to defeat Ronda Rousey. And right now, so I think her strategy, as far as I can tell, as, you know, Bayley and Ronda Rousey continue battling here tonight. Okay, completely move away from Ronda Rousey. Whenever you can hit a maneuver on her, then go for a pinfall, as now once again connecting there. As Bailey, she's hyping herself up right now. Bailey, she's trying to hype herself up as Ronda Rousey gets up and immediately runs right into that clothesline. Oh, God. And then works over the arm. They're stomping on the arm. And now, God, and again, oh, Ronda Rousey, vicious in the ring, whether you're a fan favorite or the crowd are booing you. Ronda Rousey with the Piper's pitch. She's not going to take it easy. No, and only a two count there on Bailey. As Ronda Rousey, the SmackDown Women's Champion here tonight. Oh, got stomping on Bailey. She's thinking now, what can she do? 
to defeat Bailey right now. And there you see Bailey thinking the same thing about Ronda Rousey. Okay, outmaneuvering her. That's exactly what you need to do. Okay, Bailey, she loves this business. She studied the tapes. Oh! As she slams Ronda Rousey into the mat there in the cover. One, two. No, and only a two count off the Bailey Plex slamming her into the mat there. Ronda Rousey getting the shoulder up. And I think Bailey is thinking to herself, if she can do that just a bit more, okay, if she can do that one more time, perhaps she could end up with a victory. Okay, Bailey going up to the top turnbuckle for some high risk. Oh, but highly impactful action with that elbow being driven into the face of the champion. However, you do not hear the referee's hand be driven into the mat for a third time following that diving elbow drop. Okay, only a two count. This match is still going on, ladies and gentlemen, as Ronda Rousey goes to grab Bailey, trying to grab her there. And there you see Bailey once again. Oh, goes for a maneuver. Oh, but Ronda Rousey flipping out of it, showing off some agility here tonight. Okay, flipping out of the back suplex is now. Oh, got a punch right to the back. And oh, God, once again, slamming down Bailey. As Bailey's not looking too good right now, Ronda Rousey, she throws her across the ring. However, Bailey responds by throwing Ronda Rousey back into the corner. Oh, and then a chop to the chest for good measure, echoing throughout the arena. However, Ronda Rousey, oh, wait a second, she gets up and immediately, oh, wait a second, wait a second, she's got her now. She's got her in the armbar. She's got her in the armbar right now, the same maneuver that made her retain that SmackDown Women's title at no mercy. And Bailey has no other choice. Bailey had no other choice but to tap out here tonight. Ronda Rousey just beat Bailey. Okay, but Bailey, okay, she tried her damnest. Okay, she outmaneuvered her in every which way, pushing her away, going for the quick covers. That's exactly what you need to do. Okay, she had the strategy down, just she did not implement that strategy in the most efficient and effective way. And then that inefficient maneuvering from Bailey is what led to this woman playing her music, looking out towards the crowd as the victor. Okay, Ronda Rousey just beat Bailey, and hold on just a second. Um, okay. Lacey Evans. Okay, sure. Lacey Evans, ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring. Um, not entirely sure why. Of course, Ronda Rousey, she challenged anyone to come out here last week to, you know, ask for a title match. And maybe this is what Lacey Evans is thinking. Well, okay then. Ronda Rousey, she challenged anyone to... Oh, wait a second. She challenged anyone to come out here. No, wait a second. Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans, okay? She turned around right into this attack by Ember Moon. Of course, Ember Moon and Lacey Evans have been battling backstage and all over the arenas over the past few weeks. Oh, and Ember Moon taking this advantage here to attack Lacey Evans as Lacey Evans has done a few times before of course that rivalry has heated and boiled over but now oh wait a second ember moon and ronda rousey with a bit of a stare down here tonight perhaps ember moon eyeing at the champion saying perhaps i want that title and well speaking of titles and championships tonight is a very championship friendly show okay we've got the wwe champion in action later on in the evening as daniel bryan the leader of the yes movement the man who beat ec3 by cashing in his money in the bank briefcase had no mercy as he is set to take on rusev and one hell of a matchup and speaking of one hell of a matchup two men that are 
future bona fide top tier superstars, in my opinion, are going to be battling it out for the Intercontinental Championship, a match that was announced by the challenger during an interview. It's going to be Kevin Owens, the champion, taking on Johnny Gargano. Well, apparently Drew McIntyre is making his case. Okay, he believes that he should be battling Daniel Bryan for the WWE title. And quite frankly, I can't really argue with him. Drew McIntyre, I mean, he is the, one of the major factors within that one-on-one -on -one match between Daniel Bryan and EC3 that led to Bryan winning. Okay, of course, we saw Jackson Riker. He was about to step up. He was about to enter the ring. He was about to battle... Daniel Bryan leading to a DQ and thus no championship changes because of the championship advantage. However, in the end, it was Drew McIntyre who stopped all that from happening. Jackson Riker was taken out and thus Daniel Bryan left as the WWE champion. And speaking of people leaving, we're going to be moving on to one-on-one -on -one competition. This is really the only matchup that isn't revolving around any champions. Okay, Daniel Bryan, the WWE Champion, isn't in this. We already saw Ronda Rousey. We're not going to be seeing the IC Champion right now. No, this is just a one-on-one -on -one matchup as Sheamus is set to take on Robert Roode. Of course, Sheamus returning with a large amount of fan support, shocking the world and defeating Kofi Kingston to get a shot at becoming Mr. Money in the Bank. That was his return matchup he was immediately put on this pedestal but then Seamus hasn't really been doing too much Robert Roode also hasn't really been doing too much okay Robert Roode as he makes his way to the ring he knows that since WrestleMania he has suffered loss after loss after loss here on Smackdown he's changed his name his look his mentality he's changed everything about himself since Wrestlemania but the glorious one still can't seem to pick up a victory. Okay, he tried to get a victory back at No Mercy, but it didn't quite work out. He lost to Johnny Gargano, and thus Johnny Gargano is now fighting in the main event. How do you think Robert Roode feels about that? He is angry. He is furious. He thinks that he should be on a pedestal, a very high pedestal. The same kind of pedestal that Sheamus immediately put himself on by returning and entering the Money in the Bank ladder match. Right now, Robert Roode, he's angry, he's pissed off, and he wants to show off some cockiness. There you see, he's hyping himself up right now. He's fighting the Celtic Warriors. Oh, God! One, two... Thir no, and Robert Roode kicked out! Sheamus out of nowhere! Okay, Robert Roode, he was starting that glorious chant, and in the end, he got a boot to the skull, the bro kick connecting 
However, Robert Root saying, no, -uh, you're not going to beat me like that, as he uses his agility to flip out of that back suplex. And now Robert Root... Okay, I think he's now even more furious. Okay, he might even be knocked a bit loopy right now following that bro kick, okay? That kick almost took his damn head off. As now Robert Roode realizing, oh crap, Sheamus is not messing around. I've got a fight. I've got a battle here tonight against the Celtic Warrior. As Sheamus rolls to the outside, grabbing on the, on the top rope. But he's being sent through the top and middle rope into that neck breaker. By the glorious one, Robert Roode. He goes for a cover now. One, two. No, and only a two count. Trying to get the rope broke. As you just saw, okay, the boot landing on the bottom rope with the referee. Okay, he wasn't paying attention. I don't know what that was all about. He didn't quite see it. But in the end, Sheamus still had to use his power and strength to kick out as Robert Roode. Shows off his power and strength there. Two. No, and only a two count once again. Okay, that full Nelson slam on Sheamus. Okay, Sheamus, as I was mentioning before, okay, he was injured by Brock Lesnar for an incredibly long time. And a lot has changed since he's been gone. Just like Robert Roode, okay, before he was named Bobby Roode, he had a full beard. Two, no, and only a two count following a devastating spine buster. But in the end, Sheamus still once again kicked out of that one. Okay, a lot has changed since then, but still, he has found himself, okay, battling in high-profile matches like the Money in the Bank ladder match, and apparently being targeted by Sanity. Not entirely sure what that's really all about. However, Sheamus, there you see with the brutal elbow strikes before a punch for good measure, and now there you see Sheamus once again. Sheamus, the Celtic Warrior. Coming into this one, he's not wasting any time. He's trying to beat the hell out of Robert Roode. He's trying to make a point. He's trying to put himself back on that pedestal as one of the top stars on Friday Night SmackDown. The former WWE Champion that man is. However, Robert Roode, he's a former World Champion. And he feels as though he should be on that pedestal. And he's been trying to battle and claw ever since losing his status as being the SmackDown General Manager. He's, trying to, he's just been trying to battle and claw his way back to the top of SmackDown. Of course, he was a former Intercontinental Champion as now he takes down Sheamus. One, two, no, and the former Tag Team Champion kicks out. Okay, Sheamus, he's got a lot of accolades. Okay, he has got a lot of prizes racked up. Okay, former WWE Champion, former Tag Team Champion, future Hall of Famer, in my opinion, absolutely, as Sheamus. He's trying to show off why he is a future Hall of Famer. However, Robert Roode, he's thinking, you know, I want to be named a future Hall of Famer. I am Robert Roode. I am a legend of this business. Okay, he is a 20, about 20 year veteran as Robert Roode. He goes to pick up Sheamus. Oh, but Sheamus battles back with that knee to the top of the skull. Oh, God, before another boot this time to the chest, taking him down. Goes for the cover now. One, two, no, and only a two count there by Sheamus. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, of course, a lot of future Hall of Famers on this roster. We got Daniel Bryan, the current WWE Champion, a headliner absolutely in a Hall of Fame class. However, he is still fighting here on SmackDown. Okay, WWE Champion Daniel Bryan is going to be battling against Rusev. Is now cover one, two, no, and again, only a two count. Okay, Daniel Bryan is going to be fighting Rusev. And, of course, our main event of the evening, Johnny Gargano, Kevin Owens, IC title on the line. Going to be one hell of a fight. As right now, Robert Roode, the man who lost to Johnny Gargano, is trying... Oh, wait a second. He's about to get, perhaps, a loss here tonight with a roll-up victory by Sheamus. No, but Robert Roode kicks out. Roode kicks out there. However, he's still trying to battle back, okay? Hits him in the face with that forearm strike. And now here we go. The strikes exchanging between these two brawlers, these two fighters, these two professional wrestlers. As now Sheamus oh, goes for a maneuver. But Robert Roode, he trips him up there. He's not looking too good. Sheamus turns around, gets a kick to the stomach. And the glorious DDT connects. The glorious DDT in the cover. One, two, three. And Robert Roode... After starting off the match with a bro kick, almost taking his head clean off, has somehow led 
himself to a victory throughout this entire match. Okay, battle, okay, hitting massive maneuvers like that spine buster, okay, trying to just punish Sheamus throughout the entire contest. But in the end, there you see, okay, Robert Roode, he outmaneuvered Sheamus, catching him off guard. Okay, he got a big grog, he got up, he got up into a kick to the stomach that took him down. The glorious DDT by the glorious one, Robert Roode. Perhaps there is something to this whole name change. Perhaps there is something to this whole change of facial hair. Okay, he feels like a star. Perhaps his star is starting to shine even brighter. Now that he is no longer Bobby Roode, the loser, but Robert Roode, apparently the winner, is now, wait a second, speaking of winners, the leader of sanity, Eric Young, as far as I can tell, okay, it's a little bit of a far away distance, but I believe that's Eric Young has decided to come out here. Well, Sheamus apparently has just been offered a, a, a role in one of the leading factions here in the WWE and perhaps even the leading faction on SmackDown, Sandy. Of course, they are the tag team champions. Not entirely sure what that's about. Oh, wait a second. Lacey Evans, speaking of chaos... Of course, that's what Sandy's uh, 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 Sandy's whole thing is about. Okay, they want to cause chaos throughout the entire SmackDown locker room, the entire SmackDown show, roster, whatever. But right now, it seems as though Lacey Evans and Ember Moon are battling backstage. And it seems as though the chaos has already started as Lacey Evans with that steel chair backstage on Ember Moon. Oh, God, trying to get revenge perhaps from earlier on in the evening. Embarrassing her and attacking her in front of the SmackDown Women's Champion. As right now, we gotta get going into the next matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Lacey Evans, I'm being told, is walking away. Thank God. Okay, uh, just brutalizing Ember Moon with a steel chair backstage. Uh, I don't... Well, either way, though, of course, that feud is starting to really heat up. Okay, those two women just... It seems like every week, they're battling, they're brawling, whether it be in the ring, whether it be backstage, whether it be on the ramp. It seems like no one and no place is safe from a Lacey Evans and Ember Moon brawl. Okay, I'm assuming that one of these days we might just see them in a grocery store or something. However, right now, the WWE Champion Daniel Bryan is here in the building. Okay, Daniel Bryan came out to an enormous reception last week after finally ending the reign of EC3. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the WWE Champion, he was met with a brick wall named Jackson Riker. Okay, Jackson Riker came out here, the bodyguard of EC3, saying, hey, I'm not out here on behalf of EC3. I'm coming out here on behalf of me, Jackson Riker. And then Jackson Riker said, hey, you know what? I think I deserve a shot at the WWE title. Daniel Bryan, he said, you know what? Fine. We'll just get a one-on-one -on -one matchup between you and I. And then in the end, Daniel Bryan lost to Jackson Riker. So right now, Daniel Bryan, he's thinking, you know what? No, I, I lost to Jackson Riker. Okay, that feels unacceptable. I need to fight another big brute. I need to fight another brick wall. I need to somehow... Hone my craft, okay, clearly something is wrong when I'm getting beaten and battered by Jackson Riker, this bodyguard, this incredibly powerful and strong man, so he turned to another powerful and strong man in 
Rusev, okay? He wanted a matchup against Rusev here tonight. That's exactly what he's getting. Okay, Daniel Bryan is going to have to think of some sort of strategy in order to defeat Rusev because if he can't even defeat Rusev, you know, Rusev, he's definitely no slouch in that ring. However, he's got to be thinking, hey, you know what? Jackson Riker, he's an incredibly unique and powerful performer. I need to fight some more powerful performers on SmackDown, and that's exactly what he's getting when he's battling against, oh, that man, Rusev as the Bulgarian Brute immediately showing off that strength with the Alabama Slam and Daniel Bryan immediately rolls to the outside. Now if I were Daniel Bryan, what I would be doing right now is I would try to steer away from the Brute strength of Rusev, okay? He is incredibly hard hitting, he's incredibly powerful. Okay, he ain't, look at that man, okay, he is built like a brick wall, he ain't fat ladies and gentlemen, none of that is fat, that is all pure muscle and Brute strength, as you're seeing right now with those devastating knees, just lifting up Daniel Bryan before tossing him across the ring. Okay, however, if I was Daniel Bryan, well, first off, I wouldn't want to be in that ring with Russo. I mean, look at the guy. However, if I was Daniel Bryan, I would have to think about a way to outsmart Russo, okay? Trying to figure out a way to use his technical and speed advantage in this one, because Dana Bryan, he is a technical master, as you can see right now, working over the arm, that's exactly what you need to do. You need to somehow outpace Rusev. You need to somehow move faster than Rusev. And then, within those speedy maneuvers, you have to somehow use that maneuvering to wear down Rusev. However, Rusev, there you see, rolling out. Oh, God, and then immediately striking back. Once again, the powerful strike on display. The powerful striking by Rusev on display. That punch to the jaw and then a clothesline for good measure as Daniel Bryan, the WWE Champion, is not looking so good. However, he's trying to fight back. There you see the very quick boot to the stomach as Rusev, oh, wait a second, went to go for that thick kick as now Daniel Bryan, okay, he's trying to confuse him, going for a roundabout DDT oh but it seems as though Rusev he had that well scouted showing off the power once again and now Rusev oh, there you see it again just tossing Daniel Bryan like a rag doll around the ring and there you see Rusev screaming out still to come ladies and gentlemen okay the WWE champion is fighting right now however the intercontinental champion is going to be battling later on trying to defend his IC title. Okay, it's going to be Kevin Owens taking on Johnny Gargano. Going to be one hell of a matchup as Rusev once again showing off that power. Oh, wait a second, but Dana Bryan somehow gets out of it. He gets out of the Alabama slam, turns it around to a Russian leg sweep, and this might be the moment Dana Bryan needs, and he needs to capitalize on it right now as he kicks him in the arm there, kicks him in the elbow as now Dan O'Brien, there you see once again going for that technical and submission game perhaps. Okay, we've seen this before, however, Daniel Bryan, oh my god, look at the strength of Bryan, the leg strength, the arm strength, lifting up Rusev there, lifting up the brute Rusev. Okay, the Bulgarian brute, now he's trying to tap him out there, trying to stretch out Rusev right now. Okay, Rusev, he is trapped in that hold. Oh. However, there you see once again, Rusev, he goes back to the power. He goes back to the strike advantage. Okay, punching. Oh, Daniel Bryan, but there you see out of nowhere. Okay, you think he's going for a punch. No, instead he goes for a kick to the face. But he doesn't get the three count following it. As now Daniel Bryan goes up onto the middle turnbuckle. He seems to have something in mind right now. Rusev. You don't want to get up when you're fighting the WWE Champion. And then you get met with a drop kick from the middle turnbuckle. One, two. No, and only a two count by Daniel Bryan, the leader of the Yes Women. Oh, God. Rusev, the Russian Terminator. He just gets up, turns him around into a back suplex. And there you hear Rusev, the furious scream of Rusev as now he throws him up once again the power on display launching the WWE Champion into the air before he came crashing down stomach first onto the knee of Rusev okay Rusev of course a former world heavyweight champion 
a former Royal Rumble winner. Right now, he's got to be thinking, hey, if I can defeat Daniel Bryan, then perhaps, perhaps I might be in line for a WWE title shot. However, Daniel Bryan, he's trying to fight back, as you just saw with the punches. Turns him around to Huracan Rana in the cover one, two. No, and only a two count once again. Rusev gets the shoulder up. Of course, Rusev with a big time World Heavyweight title reign under his belt, defeating both AJ Styles and Kurt Angle in a triple threat matchup to take home the big gold belt as now Daniel Bryan, he ain't going home, he's going up top and then crashing down with that headbutt there off the top turnbuckle. One, two, right to the stomach, but no, Rusev, once again, kicks out once again. He just sits up. He just sits up once again. How? How in the hell is Rusev just sitting up? He's acting like Dana Bryan has barely even affected him. Uh, Daniel Bryan being met with the brute strength of Rusev. And Daniel Bryan, okay, I mentioned it. He's going to have to use his technical advantage and speed. However, even though he's doing all that and more, it seems as though... Rusev, he's still trying to fight back. He's he's getting swatted by Daniel Bryan with those punches. However, it, it's like Rusev is barely effective. It, it, he's, he's barely affected at all by Daniel Bryan and his punches and his kicks. However, there you see Rusev. Oh, with that punch right to the right to the face of the WWE Champion as Bryan. He's trying to fight back. He's trying to fight back somehow. And Rusev, he's firing back with those... Oh! But those feats of strength here tonight. Just lifting up the champion, using one arm to do it. And there you see Rusev, he's screaming out. He's screaming out. He's got something in mind here, okay? He kicks him in the arm, Daniel Bryan turns over. No, that's, a, that's exactly not where you want to be. That is a position where Daniel Bryan does not want to be in. As Rusev, he's got the hole locked in right now with the accolade. The accolade, is he about to tap out Daniel Bryan, the WWE Champion? Is he about to tap him out here? No, and Daniel Bryan somehow gets out of it. And Bryan bounces off the ropes before bouncing Rusev's face off the mat but Daniel Bryan gets met with the elbow right to the head as now Bryan he's trying to fight back now bounces him off the ropes oh it hits him with the running knee the momentum of Rusev being bounced off the ropes as he gets met in the he gets hit in the face with the knee and Daniel Bryan there you hear it yes 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 he won with the running knee Beating Rusev here tonight. And what a fight we just witnessed between Daniel Bryan and Rusev. As there you see, Daniel Bryan throughout the entire matchup using his technical advantage, his speed advantage, as I mentioned, as, as I believe that he would to defeat this the, the Russian Terminator, the Bulgarian brute, Rusev. Okay, Rusev, he almost had him. The accolade was locked in, but then in the end, there you see Daniel Bryan immediately with the running knee in the replays. Okay, here on SmackDown, Daniel Bryan is the WWE Champion, and he is proving why he is the WWE Champion here tonight. What a victory over Rusev, and now it's all about the Intercontinental Championship matchup. Coming up in a few moments as Brian with the yes, yes, yes chance echoing throughout the arena. And Daniel Bryan is, is not going to like this. Well, I mentioned him earlier. The man who beat Daniel Bryan in our main event last week, Jackson Riker, is here tonight. He's the bodyguard of EC3. Of course, EC3, the man who lost to Daniel Bryan. And, 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 and back, back at No Mercy and, and Jackson Riker, this is not good for Bryan. You need to get out of Dodge. Okay, I know you're the WWE Champion. I know you want to stand up. I know you want to fight, but you've already fought. You just fought and survived Rusev as Jackson Riker. Staring down Bryan. Okay, trying to send a message. And oh, wait a second. 
Perhaps it's not Riker who's out here sending the message as EC3, his employer, oh, takes him down with that one percenter cutter. And there you see EC3, the former WWE champion. We haven't seen him since his loss at No Mercy. As he, alongside Jackson Riker, have successfully attacked and already weakened Daniel Bryan. And it seems as though their message was sent loud and clear towards the WWE champion. Daniel Bryan, however, ladies and gentlemen, I must turn your attention to next week, next episode of SmackDown, okay? It's not the WWE Champion I'm going to be talking about right now, it's the Tag Team Champions, as Sanity are set to take on the Hardy Boys, okay? We've seen these two teams battle before, let's see what's going to happen next week. Also, I am just being told that Lacey Evans and Ember Moon, following the constant brutalizations between both women Lacey Evans and Amber Moon are finally going to be getting their hands on each other in a one-on-one -on -one matchup next week Well, well, there you have it. EC3, the former WWE Champion, okay? He's got that rematch clause, and apparently he wants his rematch at SummerSlam. We're gonna... We're, okay. It's gonna be EC3 taking on Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship at, at one of the biggest shows of the year, of course, SummerSlam, a big... Event it seems it's gotten even bigger and speaking of big things that are happening tonight's main event of the evening is going to determine who will be entering SummerSlam with the Intercontinental Championship. We've got Johnny Gargano versus Kevin Owens. Okay, last week in an interview segment, Johnny Gargano announced his intentions on gaining the Intercontinental Championship and that he was going to be challenging for it tonight. And apparently Edge was like, hey, you know what? That sounds like one hell of a matchup. So that's what we're getting here tonight. Okay, Johnny Gargano versus Kevin Owens. Okay, Johnny Gargano, a lot of things revolving around this man. He feels like his career is completely rejuvenated after defeating Robert Roode back at No Mercy. Okay, Johnny Gargano. He has been focusing so much on Tommaso Ciampa over the past year. The man who attacked him at WrestleMania after those two men lost to Cesaro and Sheamus. The Bar losing their tag team titles and their chances at becoming tag team champions. When Tommaso Ciampa turned his back on him attacking Johnny Gargano in the middle of the ring. And right now Johnny Gargano, he feels as though he's finally put... Tommaso Ciampa behind him. He can now return to who he was before that betrayal by Tommaso Ciampa over a year ago. He wants to go back to being Johnny Gargano, back to being Johnny Wrestling, and right now he wants to be Johnny Champion. He wants a shot. He's going to get it. He wants to leave here tonight by defeating that man, Kevin Owens, the Intercontinental Champion. However, that is not going to be an easy task not at all, because you see right now, that's what it's all about. The IC title, Kevin Owens versus Johnny Gargano. However, Kevin Owens, he beat Braun Strowman back at No Mercy for that Intercontinental title. That is no easy task, not at all, but he did it. Somehow, he hit him with not one, not two, but three 
pop up power pumps to secure the victory. Right now, Kevin Owens, he does not want to lose that championship at all. He's going to be fighting Johnny Gargano right now, and let's get into it. Who will be entering the massive and history-making event of SummerSlam as the Intercontinental Champion? It's your main event of the evening, boys. Kevin Owens. Oh! And Johnny Gargano, he just lifted Johnny Gargano using that power advantage Kevin Owens has, okay? Kevin Owens, he's a big boy. He's got a lot of power. He's got a lot of strength. However, he does have a lot of speed within him. Okay, it is Johnny Gargano who has the perhaps technical and speed advantage in this one. However, Kevin Owens, he is incredibly ruthless. He is incredibly devastating. Pretty much every single maneuver he hits could be a finisher. As right now, Johnny Gargano is working over the arm trying to finish Kevin Owens right now. As now, once again, these two men locking up. Here we go. As you can see, Gargano over and over again going back. Oh! To the technical offense, as you can see now. Okay, trying to wrap Kevin Owens up over Owens. Trying to fight back, trying to outpower and outmaneuver his way into a victory over Johnny Gargano. Over there, you see Gargano gets up. And Kevin Owens and Gargano just stare each other down now as Owens. Oh! With a. Hard right hand over and over again, connecting on the face, on the jaw, on the stomach, oh, of Gargano before Owens just connects with that super kick, taking him down here tonight. As Gargano, he's coming into this one, oh, with a lot of momentum after defeating Robert Roode at no mercy. However, you can say the same thing about Kevin Owens after defeating Braun Strowman and earning the white strap, the IC title at no mercy. Both men coming into this main event with a lot of momentum as right now, Kevin Owens, oh, he's trying to show Gargano that I am not looking to lose that momentum, but Gargano is thinking the same thing as Kevin Owens. I mentioned before his complete ruthlessness now being put on display okay Kevin Owens battling Gargano right now with that kick okay Gargano he seemed to have a technical advantage in the opening moments of this matchup however it seems that Owens has the upper hand beating the hell out of Gargano right now okay using his sh his sheer size advance using his sheer ruthlessness his power, his striking advantage. Okay, Kevin Owens, in my opinion, has all the tools to become a mainstay here in the WWE to become a future world champion. And Kevin Owens right now seems as though he's thinking that Johnny Gargano isn't even on his level. Okay, shaking his head. No, shaking his head saying, really? This is the guy who wants my title. As Kevin Owens drops Johnny Gargano down on the back of his head. As Owens right now. Oh, he isn't done now. Okay, I've talked about the ruthlessness. I've talked about the power. Looks like he's about to show off some agility here. As Owens launches himself all the way to the floor. Right onto Johnny Gargano. Okay, bouncing off the ropes. Leaping over the top rope. And colliding with Gargano on the outside. And there you see Kevin Owens, the Intercontinental Champion. Oh, it seems as though he's not going for a pinfall. Seems as though he's saying, nah, uh I'm going to make an example out of this man. An example out of Johnny Gargano. Okay, bouncing off the elbow, but then immediately bouncing off the mat does Johnny Gargano following a German suplex. And there you see Gargano. He's getting up along his own merit right now as Kevin Owens, the cockiness on display. He's saying, you know what, fine, I'll let you heal up a bit. I'll let you heal up a bit. Look at me. I'm Kevin Owens. I'm the Intercontinental Champion. What do you have? Well, my own response for that would be that Johnny Gargano has heart. He has got passion. And he believes in himself more than anybody else. And there's a lot of people who believe in Johnny Gargano. As Kevin Owens right now is proving that he is not one of them. As Kevin Owens with the punches. Here we go. Once again, the strikes on display by Owens before the... Cannonball connects, sprinting into the corner. As Johnny Gargano not looking too good. Kevin Owens. Well, it looks like it could be over here. The pop-up power bomb connects. One, two, 
No, and Gargano! Gargano taking so much punishment, yet Kevin Owens, after hitting a pop-up powerbomb, did not keep Gargano down for the three count. However, there you see Kevin Owens, he's not wasting any time, okay? He's pissed off, and he is not just going to stand around and wait. He's going to use that anger and frustration to deliver more offense here tonight against Johnny Gargano as Gargano, oh, wait a second, Gargano, he just keeps up, he gets up, Kevin Owens, the cockiness on display, however, it seems as though that cockiness might just come back to bite him as Gargano bounces, oh, off of Kevin Owens before the boot collides with the skull of the champion as Gargano now connects, dropping him face first onto the, onto the middle turnbuckle there, and now the cover, Johnny Gargano, we got a new champion, one, two, no, and only a two count again on Kevin Owens, however, Johnny Gargano, I don't know what's gotten into him, okay, Kevin Owens, this entire match has been brutalizing him, hitting him with everything, showing up the ruthlessness, the power, the speed, the agility even, however, right now, Johnny Gargano, he's trying to fight back, he's trying to show off that heart of Gargano, however, there you see Kevin Owens, Okay, he does not appreciate it, not one bit, but Johnny Gargano doesn't care. He comes back, showing off that agility by Gargano, dropping him on the top of his head with the reverse Huracan run the reverse Frankenstein of bouncing him. Oh, God, and then a punch right to the face. Kevin Owens, he doesn't know where he is right now. He's on the mat, however, as Kevin Owens gets taken down. One, two, with the spear. No, but that spear does not lead to a victory. For Johnny Gargano, not yet. As Johnny Gargano, I don't know what's gotten into him, but right now he is fueling off of the energy. He's fueling off of that heart of Johnny Gargano. Okay, he is in this one right now. Okay, Kevin Owens, he was beating the hell out of him earlier on. But right now, Johnny Gargano is looking to finish this one off here. Super kick. Oh, no, but Kevin Owens reverses. Kevin Owens reverses. He's got Johnny Gargano, but Gargano... Reverses, pushes him off, as now both men back and forth, here we go, Gargano now with the strikes on the face, over and over again, there you see the punches, and now turns his attention with a kick to the gut, that's Gargano, and another kick for good measure on, on Kevin Owens, the Intercontinental Champion, taking all of these shots, absorbing them, before getting thrown to the outside, and now it seems as though Kevin Owens is down on the outside, Gargano seems to have something in mind here, not too sure, oh and he Dives to the outside. Okay, we saw Kevin Owens do something similar. Okay, it wasn't that. However, with the suicide dive by Johnny Gargano all the way to the ground alongside Kevin Owens. Both men colliding with the sheer force of Johnny Gargano trying to force himself into that Intercontinental Championship. He's trying to become champion, but that did not get a three count. There you see Gargano. He was perhaps getting a bit exhausted, maybe. After beating the hell out of Kevin Owens, okay, with the quick strikes, okay, he cannot stop for merely one moment because in that one moment, Kevin Owens can think, and when he can think, he can plan, he can strategize, as right now, oh, seems as though his strategy is to fight back, bouncing off of him again right on the stomach. As now Owens... He's not done. What in the hell is this? Talking some trash once again. Oh, God. And then off the middle turnbuckle, crushing Gargano underneath the full weight of the Intercontinental Champion. However, Johnny Gargano, he's still fighting back. He's still fighting back, boys. However, Kevin Owens, he's fighting back as well. A punch and then a super kick for good measure once again. And now there you see, okay, the pressure being applied. Talking a bit of smack as well, I believe. Kevin Owens, just a non-stop smack taco. Okay, non-stop blabber mouth. Here tonight against Johnny Gargano. However, Gargano, he's trying to fight back with that kick right to the, right to the side of the leg. And now, hold on one second, trips him up. And Gargano, Gargano, he's got him. Gargano escape. The Gargano escape is locked in. Kevin Owens. He's reaching out. He's got nowhere to go. Kevin Owens, he's dead center in the ring. We're going to have a new champion. A new champion. That's Kevin Owens. He's holding on. He's trying to fight out of it, and he does. Oh, man. Gargano almost tapping out Kevin Owens, which is no easy feat. As now, 
Here we go, Gargano's still trying to fight. Kevin Owens pushes off Gargano. And he's not done as these two men back and forth with the strikes. As now Gargano finishes the sequence, but he ain't done just yet with the assault on the champion. As Gargano now continuing. Here we go, continuing the offense. What does he have in mind? Oh, look at this. The agility on display, turning it around. Face first goes Kevin Owens. Once again, the cover. One, two. No, and again, only a two count here. It is your main event of the evening. Kevin Owens and Johnny Gargano battling it out for the Intercontinental Champion. As now Kevin Owens, the champion here tonight. Kicks him in the stomach. And oh god, wait a second, out of nowhere, bouncing him off the ropes before lifting him up into the pop-up power bomb. One, two, three. Kevin Owens has beaten Johnny Gargano. Okay, Kevin Owens and Johnny Gargano just went to war here tonight in our main event. Johnny Gargano throughout the entire matchup has just been hearing the trash talk by Kevin Owens. However, Gargano, when he kicked out of this, the pop-up powerbomb near the start of the matchup, I think Kevin Owens, he was shocked. He was surprised, and Johnny Gargano said, you know what? You're going to keep talking trash to me. Well, then I'm going to show you just how good I am. And then just went on this flurry of offense, beating the hell out of Kevin Owens. Okay, going after him with everything he had. Okay, with the spear through the ropes, with the Gargano escape, everything. And in the end, Kevin Owens out of nowhere with the pop-up powerbomb beating Johnny Gargano. Okay, the Achilles heel of Kevin Owens. It did not play into a factor perhaps as Johnny Gargano, he tried his damnedest to beat that man, the Intercontinental Champion, Kevin Owens, who seems to have something to say here tonight. Well, Kevin Owens, the Intercontinental Champion, he retains, and he says that at SummerSlam, he wants a challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, we are closing out this episode of SmackDown. Thank you very much for watching, as Kevin Owens at SummerSlam is going against John Cena.